there Capricorn! Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August of 2021. I thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your monthly reading. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, this is a timeless reading also. Just because it's coming through the month of August, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that we could be talking to a cross watcher here, so the roles can be reversed. Do not force anything into your life that doesn't naturally fit there. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available with that. For that, all the information is in the, is in the description box below. And if you would like to, donate to the channel, like uh, support the channel, or get some extra monthly content, check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. Whew. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this here. So you are being called, you are being guided, you are being led to Relieve yourself of certain overextensions of your ability, overextensions of your energy, uh, and it's things that are burdening you. And you are in direct alignment with this. So overall energy, we're starting you off with judgment at the bottom of the deck. Underneath judgment is the magician. To the two of pentacles. I really feel, okay, Capricorn, underneath the two of pentacles is the three of wands and the lovers and then death. Okay, Capricorn, I really feel like you are being led to bring a certain amount of balance into your life. Okay, and I'm getting that from, from the two of pentacles. Okay, well, I'm getting that from everything that we have here, but judgment is a call from your higher self, from the universe. For you to get into your manifestation ability or your master manifester mode and to manifest some form of balance, physical balance into your life, two of pentacles. It's also asking you in relation to this, you need to be focusing on where it is you're going. Three of wands, like where are we heading with this? Or like ask that question of yourself or I, I, I this might be of a partner of a significant other. We could be talking about a relationship here, uh, an interpersonal relationship, whether that's a, a romantic relationship, a marriage or friendship, creative relationship, a uh, work relationship, whatever. You're being influenced, and I kind of feel like some of you are already seeing it this way, but it's like with this Three of Wands energy here, it's like, okay, where are we going with this? And how do I bring greater balance into my life, two of pentacles? There is a choice you're going to have to make, Capricorn, the lovers. And this is a choice of your highest good or your highest, yeah, for your highest good or like keeping up with some sort of vice, okay? And there's a transformation that's coming because of it, death. Now, um, on the table here, you have the queen of wands with the ten of wands and then the star, all right, the Ten of Wands is representing the burden, the struggle, the imbalance. The, the Queen of Wands is representing you being in alignment. In some cases, this is you being in alignment with wanting to relieve yourself of this burden. But for others of you, this is you being in alignment with this burden. And some of you are being asked to change that or you're being asked to change that. You have two more cards here, Capricorn, that have fallen face down. Okay, no, you really, like Capricorn, you really have to make a decision. You have the two of wands here with the five of pentacles. There's some sort of FOMO energy. I don't feel like it's coming from you, Capricorn. I feel like it's coming from someone else, maybe even your significant other. Capricorn, there is something you are involved in that involves another person, a significant other. This may even be your wife. I'm hearing things like your wife or your mother or I don't I don't know who it is. But somebody here is playing the, the woe is me card. And it's burdening you. And you need to make a decision. 
someone is playing the woe is me card five of pentacles someone is in this energy of like i can't do for myself i am you know like it's a codependent energy and it's burdening you it's bogging you down it's causing turmoil it's causing strife and that's why we have this energy for you capricorn of three of wands of being like whoa okay wait a second stop everything where are we going with this like ultimately where is this supposed to lead us where is this supposed to take us for some of you you're in a position right now where you're finding out that your partner isn't actually in alignment with what it is you guys set out to achieve and you're the one carrying everything here and they're like mm, i can't and you're like no 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 no. this is not what i signed up for <laughs> Yeah, there might have been some sort of bait and switch type of energy going on there. I don't know. Whatever. Either way, Capricorn, you're being asked to focus on what is happening here and focus on what it, where it is you're trying to go and what it is you need to do to get there. And for some of you, you're going to have to leave something or someone behind. The lovers, you're going to have to make a big choice. Big choice. Vice over virtue or virtue over vice. How does that resonate for you? Yeah. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to give this five more shuffles. And then we will get into this and we will get the rest of your messages for this month or this time period. Yes? Woo! Not taking those. Too many. Okay. Here we go. Vir Capricorn. Sorry. I just did Virgo. Capricorn. Yeah. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Five shuffles for you. Cap. Capricorn, one. You could be dealing with a Virgo, because I keep wanting to say Virgo. I mean, I just did Virgo's reading, but you could be dealing with a Virgo. This is one. For my Capricorn, or you could have a Virgo placement somehow, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is two. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a complete picture as to the messages of, that could be coming through for you for this time period. This is three. Um, also, if you're looking for love messages specifically, check your Venus sign or the Venus sign of your potential partner, your love interest, or your actual partner. This is four. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2021 and beyond, this is five. All right, Capricorn, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Capricorn. Okay. You have the, the hanged man to start you off. Underneath the hanged man is the nine of swords. Underneath the nine of swords is the ace of swords. And then underneath the ace of swords is the three of swords. Oh boy, Capricorn. Oh boy. First thing I want to say to you in terms of this energy for you right now, Capricorn, is wherever else, wherever you find yourself right now, whatever, between whatever rock and hard place you find yourself right now, man, you need this. Not to say that you need to be heartbroken, that you need the pain or whatnot, whatever, that you need the strife, but you need to be here. And I'm getting that from the hanged man because there is something that you have got to learn in this situation. Or there is something that you are meant to learn or there's an understanding that you're meant to come through or come to excuse me in this situation there is a higher spiritual meaning for this than the hanged man you have a bunch of fears going on in your head right now or there's a bunch of what ifs they're like nine of swords but all of these what ifs or all of these fears or all of this pain that you're feeling all of this the sorrow that you're experiencing whatever it's meant to show you something, Ace of Swords. It's meant to show you how you're being hurt, Three of Swords. It's meant to show you what it is you need to let go of, the Five of Cups. And then you have the High Priestess. Some of you are in this position right now Facing needing to let go of something that you've been in for a long time and you don't quite understand, but the high priestess is coming through saying that there is a higher meaning to this. Okay, for others of you, the high priestess is representing your intuition speaking to you. 
coming through with insights that you weren't previously aware of, but now you're ready to handle, you're ready to deal with, you're ready to face. Whatever it is you're fearing, whatever it is you're burdened by, whatever it is you're afraid of, whatever it is is causing so much pain and turmoil for you, it's meant to highlight what needs to be brought to an end because you have the nine of swords here and then you have the ace of swords nine to the ace creates the ten the ten is the completion so the, the what i just the only thing i want to say about this capricorn is that whatever it is is swirling around in your head your worst case scenario or your fears that are overtaking your mind right now that is meant to show you what needs to be changed not necessarily how to change it but that's meant to show you okay i've got to do something about that okay Let's move forward. First half, second half of your reading. First half of your reading, we're going to be looking at the past energies up until the current surrounding and the current time frame. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, Capricorn. You have the Queen of Cups. Emotional understanding. You need to come to an emotional understanding about something, about the past about where it is you find yourself at this point. The Queen of Cups has nothing to do with gender in this situation. This is all energy. And the Queen of Cups is an, the individual that has a deep, 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 deep understanding of her, of her relationships, yes, but also her emotions. And what this is saying for you right now, Capricorn, is you have got to a, come to a clear understanding of what it is you're feeling because your feelings are telling you what's wrong and what's right within your life, within the scope of your life. What is wrong for you or what is wrong for your life and what is right for you and your life, okay? And that's not an ultimate, that's not like a, an absolute for everyone. This is you specifically. So don't go around trying to be like, well, this is right for me, so this must be right for everybody. No, Capricorn, okay? Don't play that game. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you've gotta bring, see, okay, you've gotta bring some sort of balance here. Physical balance, like, but that into your life, but that's going to come from emotional understanding and emotional awareness. That's how you're going to be able to balance some things out in your life. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the first half of your reading, you have the Empress here, unconditionally, unconditionally loving, open. There is an unconditionally loving energy that needs to be adopted here. Uh, what I'm getting with this is like you need to be experiencing what an unconditionally loving energy is so that you you have the energy and the space and the freedom to handle your fears. I'm picking, there is so much that I'm getting for you right now that I'm trying to put in for words, but there's an energy here, Capricorn, of... Uh, you needing to deal with your emotional reality, you needing to understand what that type of loving, nurturing energy is that allows someone to handle their emotions and not feel bad about it. And I'm not, and, and I, I, I just feel like this is needing to happen for you. This is what you're going through. This is the period that you're going through right now, Capricorn. Like you need that unconditionally loving, motherly energy right now in your life. You're trying to learn about that. You're trying to learn from that. I hope this is making sense. The Empress is coupled with justice. You're in some serious need for emotional care right now, Capricorn. Your emotions are valid. I feel like that's why you're between this rock and a hard place, Capricorn, because you haven't been giving yourself the emotional validity that you deserve, that you, not even that you deserve necessarily, that you require. It's not even about being deserving or worthy of it. It's a requirement. Oh, this reading feels like it's for someone that has really, really hard time allowing themselves to feel through their emotions allowing themselves to handle like you you have you may be lacking in emotional fortitude or emotional intelligence and that's why you're needing these fears to come up so that you can face them and deal with them 
Your challenge here, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading is the magician. You're not going to know what it is you want to even want to manifest, let alone be able to manifest it if you don't know what you're feeling, Capricorn. So this is all in an effort to get you to come back to your master manifester period or to get you to have, to get to allow your manifesting abilities to come online. The magician is coupled with the knight of pentacles. Slowly but surely you will get this back. But you're going to have to be diligent. You're going to have to be committed. You're going to have to take everything as it comes. You can't rush this. You cannot rush this. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. Queen of Wands. There's that Queen of Wands. It's like the universe is teaching you how to get into alignment. And your emotions are the key, are the first point to that. Because you're never going to, you're not going to know if you're in alignment with what it is that's right for you if you don't know what it is you're feeling. Again, your emotions are your compass. And if you're, feel, if you're in alignment with things that constant make you, constantly make you feel bad or maybe even unworthy, then obviously you're not in alignment with what's right for you. But you're not going to know that if you don't clear up this space and clear up this energy and focus on what makes you feel good and what doesn't. The Queen of Wands is coupled with the Four of Wands. That's good. Emotional fortitude. Not emotional fortitude. Spiritual fortitude. Spiritual foundation. I do feel like you're, you're in the process of getting to learn deeper aspects of yourself. You may even be in the process of starting to awaken spiritually. Or starting to, your mind starting to open up to spirituality or the spiritual nature of things. In which your emotions are key. Mm. Alright Capricorn, let's move forward. Let's get into the second half of your reading, yeah? First set surrounding it. Oh well, I'm sorry. Uh, second half of your reading is going to look at the current energy off into the future, Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading, you have. The Fool. All right. Taking a leap of faith in a new direction. I like this. This really uh, emotional fortitude. That's what I'm hearing for you. I think that may even be what I want to title this reading or something like that. Emotional fortitude. You're taking a leap of faith towards emotional fortitude. And this is definitely a leap of faith for you. This feels like risky business from your point of view. I don't know about those emotions, man. They're too volatile. They're too extreme. They're too all, of the, all over the place. They can't be handled. They can't be controlled. Bullshit. You just have to be strong enough to do it, which means you have to face them. That's what you're taking the leap of faith into, emotional fortitude. You're taking a leap of faith towards emotional fortitude. Okay. The, feet, la, 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 la. the fool. The fool is coupled with this, the six of swords. Moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Again, emotional fortitude. And like, why wouldn't, like, why wouldn't you want to do this, Capricorn? Because what this feels like here is you literally moving away from an energetic environment or a situation that just leaves you feeling awful. Why wouldn't you want to move away from that? Why wouldn't you want to move from rough waters to calmer waters, Capricorn? I mean, I understand your resistance to it, especially if you are not someone that is typically used to dealing with your emotions. This is going to be fairly challenging, but once you clear that up, once you clean that up, Capricorn, you're going to be so much happier. You're going to be able to be so much happier. It's not even about being happy at this point. It's about giving yourself the energetic environment so that you can be happy. That's the focus here. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the second half of your reading, you have the Four of Cups. Apathy. Some of you have just given up. But I feel like you're going to be facing that now. And coming out of that. Four of Cups is coupled with the king of wands. 
going, wow, now this is an extreme, going from one energy of feeling completely apathetic and bored and not wanting to be involved, just kind of giving up, to being activated again. King of Wands, confident, vibrant, driven. But in order to do that, Capricorn, you have to focus on what it is that you are feeling. You have to focus on what it is that's been making you, that's been pushing you into this sense of apathy in order to change it, okay? Your challenge here, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading, it's the Page of Swords, finding out, doing the research, being the sentry, going on the pilgrimage of self to understand Ace of Swords, to gain the truth. Ace of Swords is in your overall energy, yeah. Page of Swords is coupled with mm, the Seven of Swords. Finding the lies, finding the discrepancies. Also, what I'm getting here, Capricorn, is finding the cracks in your foundation and shoring those up, fortifying them. Finding the spaces where you're, ah, 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 finding the energetic leakages and fixing them. Mm -hmm. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading is the emperor taking control, being the authority, and also in some cases setting the boundaries emotionally. The emperor is coupled with judgment. You are being called to take control of your life and your environment, your surroundings, the settings you find yourself in, whatnot, whatever. You're being called to be the executive of your life, to be in control. But in order for you to really have full control, full reign over your power, over your realm, you need that emotional side. You have the empress and the emperor here, Capricorn. You need a balance of both the masculine and the feminine, okay? All right. I'm going to close this out for you, and we're going to get your oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? Five shuffles for you, Capricorn. One. Two. Three. Jinx. My cat's outside. Three. She's looking at me through the window. Four. And five. All right, Capricorn. Closing Oracle Guidance. What do we got for Capricorn? What closing Oracle Guidance do we have for Capricorn? Please, Spirit. Card number 46. Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian, Sacred Revolution. Now, four and six does boil down to a 10, so this is another level of completion, Capricorn. Ace to the nine. Come on. Oh my God, seriously? The ace to the nine creates the 10. 4 plus 6, card number 46, equals 10. 10 is the completion. Emotional fortitude, Capricorn. We bring you the empowerment of sacred revolution. Revolution comes when a cycle of authority or power is ending. It has become inadequate for the task of leadership now required, and a new order must be established in its place. It is not simply a chapter within a book drawing to a close, but an entirely new book, perhaps an entirely new genre, opening up according to divine will unfolding. In such cases, subtle change is not going to cut it. You need radical action to bring about the new order. That new order may be in your world or in your own being. When revolution is sacred, a new order will be that which allows you to become more of yourself to successfully attain your spiritual goals. All right, Capricorn. 
I am going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>